Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month, brought to you by the MPL Defect Database. My name's Bob Willis, but before we start talking about defects, just a reminder that IPC and NPL will be running the Defect Database live, a special feature in the APEC show in San Diego. Take the opportunity of having all of your process defects discussed and hopefully providing you with solutions. On the stand we'll also be providing uh, presentations on some of the key aspects in manufacture. Dr Chris Hunt and myself will be also running what we refer to as the Buzz Session, a session within the conference dedicated to the latest research on electronic manufacture. A simple way of measuring the thickness of conformal coating on a printed circuit board assembly is to use sticky dots. Now placing a sticky dot somewhere on the printed circuit board or in fact placing a number on the surface of a printed circuit board is an ideal way of measuring thickness of conformal coating after cure. Basically you remove the dots after the curing operation you examine the difference in thickness between the original dot and the dot after the application and curing and this gives you an indication of the thickness and by placing a number of dots perhaps on the scrap areas of a multi-panel doesn't affect the quality of the printed circuit board however you could put dots on selected areas of the printed circuit board which have no functional value i.e. they're on the surface of the solder mask away from any track locations. Using these gives you a good average thickness and allows you to monitor the quality control of your process or your subcontractor. Remember if you're putting sticky dots on a printed board assembly make sure the quality department are aware that missing conformal coating after dot removal is not a quality issue. So next month we'll be looking at another process defect to hopefully assist engineers with solutions to their process problems. But a reminder, we'll look forward to seeing you at the Defect Database Live provided by IPC and supported by our sponsors.